Hello guys, what is going on? I am Nubble Nexus, coach of Pairs of Pichus, bring you guys week 5 of the NPA against the Philadelphia Braviaries. If you guys are enjoying, sub a like, subscribe, love to hear your thoughts. Criticism, definitely worth it. This match, it went in a way I didn't expect it to go to. Uh, I think I'm learning more and more as I begin two things. You'll probably see one thing I'll point out probably later on within the match. But another thing is I'm learning more, like, no bullshit, more of the rust. I'm actually learning, since I haven't played this game like this that much, that I actually can see, like, the flaws. And I can, like, you guys, I think you guys see it more too, but, like, I can legitimately see the mistakes that I make, which I think is something important to uh, figure out in the match. But he does lead off with Azov, I figured that, so I lead off with my own little Lake Spirit here. Um, and just kind of wanted to get up my own rocks, figured maybe he want to knock off, go for his own rocks. He actually goes for U-turn. Gets out of here, probably going out to Pre Marina, goes to Zygarde instead. So I'm like, could have brought Ice Beam, but it's fine. Ash is impacting Healing Wish and Empire of Fire uh, for his Mega Scizor. Doesn't even bring Mega Scizor. So I prepped pretty hard for that. He doesn't even bring it at all. So that was good on him. I'm going to get out of here, go out to Tangrowth. I basically stopped this thing. He makes a good read here and goes for Toxic, preparing for my Tangrowth. So that was a good play there. Um, not going to knock him for that. There really any, it wasn't anything else that I really could do there. So I felt like this is the best option that I could have done. So he's going to get out of here and go out to Empoleon. Now I knew this, so I click Leech Seed here. Uh, honestly, I expected either Empoleon or I expected... Uh, what was he? Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. And yes, he does go out into the Empoleon. So I was like, okay, it's fine. I get the Leech Seed off, which can benefit not only my Tangrowth, which is currently inside right now, but any of the mon that I want to swap it into. Now, knowing he wants to go for the defog, 100%, I'm going to stay in here and go for the knockoff to remove any item, get a little more chip damage off on this thing. Actually brings a Shuckaberry, uh, probably for my Quagsire to beat a 1v1. Uh, probably packing Grass Knot as well, but I'm bringing this thing down basically already below half, which is good for me. The faster I get rid of this mon, the sooner I get my rocks up, and the sooner Thunderous Massive Threat can leave. I'm going to go out to Quagsire here. Uh, expecting an Ice Beam as he actually does go for that. Now, I want to click Toxic here. I do want to click Toxic here because he needs a thing around to defog my Mesmer for the rocks. But here's the flaws. I actually stupidly click Earthquake. I 100% knew that this thing was coming out, but I still click Earthquake with the Fear Mentality. They call it the Fear Mentality in Pokemon because you know they're going to go for something, but you still don't go for it. Now, I knew that I could live a Grass Knot. I stay in here, I get up Ice Heal, and like, I'm basically dead. That I needed basically to get the toxic off on Thunderous and I choked. I basically choked and I stayed in, figuring I know he wants to, doesn't want to go for Grass Knot again, reveal the next move, but I should have gone for Toxic. I knew that he was going to go out into this thing. I didn't because I didn't want him to go for the Grass Knot and if I went for Toxic and he stayed in, it could have been pretty powerful. Now, I also knew he was going to go out to this thing, but I didn't really care because I just wanted to burn it. As I actually do burn it. Chip, pip, pip, cheerio, am I right? Uh, basically, I knew that I lived a, thund a thunder. Well, I lived anything he wanted to give me from full. So, yeah, it was a roll 50 60% as well. It's a roll with the thunderbolt. So, I, I, I was willing to take that. I'm going to go to Mesprit though. Uh, this thing really can't touch me, especially defensive. As he goes for Scald here. And this is good for me because I can get my rocks up again. And this probably will force the Empoleon to come out literally now. But, like I said again, I really needed the Toxic on the Thunderous. I didn't get it off. And that's my poor lack of plays really showing within this match. It's literally showing that, I don't know, it was just a very poor play that I really can't, you know, express it enough that I really needed that play to work in that favor, and it didn't. It's going to bite him back in the ass huge. Uh, he's going to bring out the opponent. Now, I know he's going to go for defog, so I should go out into my Entei here. Um, check it, right? Check it, right? I knew he was going to go for defog, so I go out to Entei here. The thing dies to Sacred Fire from this range. I am not, uh, what should I call it, Bandit. I'm Shed Shell for the Duck Trio. I'm going to make a double, go out into this thing, uh, come to the Primarina, as he does go out to the Primarina. Good play on me there, good play on me there. Uh, and then Primarina really shouldn't be the world's most biggest threat. He told me that he brought a physically defensive Primarina for my Bandit Entei, which is smart. It's probably why Sacred Fire didn't do jack shit. He's going to go for Moonblast here, and this actually does a pretty annoying amount of damage, and especially defensive, and it does an annoying amount of damage. So... Woo! That is a Tangro's special defense is kind of shit. His HP is really good, but his special defense is kind of shit. So that's why most people run it specially defensive because it's really bulky but and tanky. But special defense is a little lackluster there. 
Just a little bit, just a little bit. But like I said again, I can't stress enough. I really need a toxic play there. I feel like I'm not taking enough risks, and that's my issue here within this week of this match. And you guys will see that as I knew the thing was gonna come out again. I click knockoff, trying to get off the item. As he didn't see an item there, so I'm assuming. All right, he might have the poison Z move to be able to do a massive amount of damage to my Lele, my Tangro, stuff like that. I'm gonna go out to my Mesprit here and let the thing go. Uh, he's gonna go for Sludge Bomb and reveal that, but it sucks because my Mesprit is basically dead. You just heard Discord, I'm sorry about that. My Mesprit is basically, it's, it's done at this point, it's done. So that sucks, I lost two Mons, it's 6-4 in his favor right now. It's not looking too good, I have to make an aggressive play here. I go out to Entei here because he doesn't really have anything that's really going to appreciate this Entei outside of Primarina. But I figured here I'm just going to go for the E-Speed because E-Speed knocks out the Thunders from that range. And I didn't lose anything doing that because if he goes into a Poland, I can kill with Sacred Fire like I do now. And if he goes to Pre-Marina, I can literally go out of Tangrowth. So I have also packed Iron Head, but it doesn't do that much because he's also physically defensive. He finds out here, though, that I'm Shed Shell. So it's going to bite him back in the ass as I get a free switch out into my Tangrowth. Now, another crucial play here which is gonna kind of buy me back in the ass. I think, I think, I don't know if it happens here or not, because we're gonna figure out, because I had this match last night, so we're gonna figure out um, how this went. But he's gonna swap out of his Doug Trio, and he's gonna go out into the Thunderous. Now, I actually am gonna go ahead and click Leech Seed here, but I miss. This sucked a lot. I really needed this Leech Seed. This Thunderous is becoming more and more of a threat. I've lost my Quagsire, and I've lost my Mesprit, so it's becoming more and more of a threat. So I go out to Entei here, because I could take a Sludge Bomb. I could honestly take anything that he can do to me right now. I'm playing so risky with this Entei, but I have to do this. Um, again, like I said, I can go for a free uh, E-Speed here, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I don't want to Sacred Fire the thing and get pointless damage off. E-Speed's doing way more than Sacred Fire. And I get the burn, so that's nice little burn chip damage there. Um, but I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to go right out to my Tangro. I've been playing it very rinse repetitive, which is bad for me. But he's not really acting on it, so it's actually not as bad as you think. On paper, it's pretty bad. You never want to really do that in a match because you're very easy, predictable. But he's not really predicting it or acting on it. I feel like he doesn't need to because he's in favorable matchup right now, so there's no reason for him to do that. Uh, he definitely has the standards on me. He's going to go for a Moonblast here, making a good read staying in as I click Leech Seed here because I don't want the Thunders to come in all the time. I had to take this. Honestly, though, I think I wouldn't have lost anything had I clicked Giga Drain. I would have gained back a huge amount of HP, and I would have killed off the Pre-Marina from its range of where it's at because the burn would have followed up with it. And I'm poisoned, so it's not good for me to be taking that Leech Seed risk like that. Uh, it sucks because I actually don't know if Moonblast will kill me from this range. I don't want to fuck around with rolls. He's going to go out to Azelf here, knowing I'm going to swap out. I'm going to swap out of here and actually go out into my Scizor here. I'm expecting just honestly anything. I have the Oka Berry, but I forgot, which is extremely upsetting. Um, I, I probably should have acted on the Oka Berry. It's not that I forgot, right? That's, that's the bullshit excuse. It's not that I forgot. It's that I should have acted on it. I clicked BP, but had I clicked U-Turn, that thing would have been shredded. So that's super unfortunate. But he's going to sack off his Pre-Marina. That's another thing where I did not take that risk. I, I, I just did not. I assumed that he was maybe going to pack Fire Blast over Flamethrower, and I feel like even with the Oka Berry, that would have knocked me out. Now I make the world's dumbest play here and go out to Entei and literally kill it. I There's no excuse, guys. I just choked this. There's no excuse. There's no excuse as to why that play happened. I hit him up about it. He's like, you good, bro? And I'm like, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> like, there was absolutely no excuse for me to do that. I... No excuse at all. And since he has momentum, I was gonna kind of getting on tilt here, and I, he needs the thunders around, but it didn't click in my head because I got a little tilted after that, and there was no reason at all for me to keep the scissor. There was absolutely no reason at all for me to keep the scissor. Basically, what this match is showing me, it's showing me a bunch of my flaws in this game. It's showing me that I am just not as good as I used to be in this game. I keep just going down a peg every week. And it's also going to show you as well here in a little bit. Um, he brought Coldberry, fun fact, but it didn't matter. But it's going to show me as well that I should have taken more risks. Because I had the right mindset when I wanted to take the risks. I just did not take them. 
uh, based off fear. And people have that fear mentality when they lose their confidence in the game. You're not playing confident anymore because you're just not that good anymore. And that's honestly where I'm hitting the point of where I'm just not that good anymore at this game. But here's what sucks, right? Lele is my last mine. Lele bodies all three of his mons that are left. I live the EQ from the Dougie and it dies. Had I literally just took Moonblast, I would have won this game. I'm not scarfed. I was shed shell. He reveals that he has the Gigavolt Havoc. But what sucks about this is had I brought scarfed Lele, it could have been a nice revenge killer to where even if I fucked up like this, I still could have won. And had I have taken these risks that I wanted to take, it would have been a lot better. And that Entei play, I honestly got just choked it. I feel like I probably still could have made it back had the Entei play have actually killed off the Thunderous. Um, because Lele could have lived anything from the other two last months. So had the Fundy have died, Lele really could have cleaned up his last two ground types, which is unfortunate. But guys, that's it for the match. Again, I'm sorry for a loss. My record is so shit. I just don't play this game like that anymore. So I'm going to try the best that I can next week, though, guys, for a full win streak. Thank you for watching. I'm Numb Nexus. I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye.